Hi, I'm Curtis Guerin and I'm the Transportation Program Director for Automotive, Diesel and Electric Vehicle Programs here at CNM. Today we're going to look at some things that you can do on your vehicle without the use of a mechanic. One of the things that people often ask me is, what other things can I look at on my vehicle without the use of a mechanic? One of the most important things you can do is look at your illumination system. A simple way to do that is to go ahead and turn on all headlights and marker lights and your hazard lights. Walk around the car with a 360 degree and make sure that all of them are working. Some of the most important ones are your brake lights. Have an assistant sit in the driver's seat and depress the brake pedal. What you want to look for is to make sure that all three lights are lighting up so that other drivers can see you. Unfortunately, the only time that we realize that we need windshield wipers is when it rains. So, if you're in that situation and haven't replaced them for a while, to get somewhat of a life back, what you can do is take an alcohol wipe, take your wiper blade, go ahead and wipe the blade clean. And what that will do is, one, revitalize a little bit of the rubber. It'll also take some of that road dirt and grime that is accumulated onto your wiper blade and give you a better view on your way to the parts store. Now let's take a look underneath the hood. One of the most important things underneath your hood that you want to take a look at is your car's battery. One of the things you want to look at is you want to make sure that all of your cable ends are nice and clean and don't have any debris or corrosion which would prevent you from being able to start the car. Under no circumstances whatsoever do you want to try to open up this battery because inside this battery is acid that can burn your skin. The other thing that we can take a look at is your master cylinder and this is for your braking system. Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 135 permits us from being able to open this to allow any air or water to enter the system. So manufacturers to comply with that law have made our reservoirs clear. They've also marked an area on the reservoir where they want the fluid to be. Brake fluid should never be added as a routine maintenance thing before your brakes are inspected. Now that we're on the other side of the vehicle, let's take a look at some things that we can look at and not need a mechanic for. You'll notice that this vehicle has two coolant reservoirs. That's because it's a hybrid. This has a cooling system for your internal combustion engine, and it also has a cooling system for the battery. They are set up pretty much the same. They are clear so that you can see the level of the fluid inside, and you want to make sure that that level is within the limits of the actual reservoir itself. Under no circumstances do we want to go ahead and open up this reservoir as it is hot. When it's hot, it is pressurized. Removing the cover turns it back to atmospheric pressure will actually blow out the top of the reservoir and burn you. One of the things that is overlooked most times is your windshield washer fluid. That fluid is there, obviously, to clean your windshield whenever you need it. You want to make sure that that is fully topped off so that when you need it, it is there. Engine oil is the vital life fluid of your engine. You want to make sure that you check that on a regular basis. You want to check the engine oil when the vehicle has been off for 5 to 10 minutes. The reason for that is that most of the engine oil is at the top of the engine as the engine runs. When you shut the engine off, it will return to the bottom of the engine where I'm actually checking it with my dipstick. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove my dipstick from the holder, go ahead and wipe it off on a clean rag, and then reinsert it into the holder. When I pull it out again, what I'm taking a look for is the two dots on this dipstick. Does the fluid level fall in between those two circles? If it's below the circle, I want to add a little bit of oil at a time, no more than one pint. Overflowing an engine or overfilling an engine with oil is worse than running an engine out of oil. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that once I've verified the level and go ahead and return that back to its holder. When it comes to the oil, some things that I can take a look at is the color. Is it a nice amber color as we see here or is it a brown or a black indicating that the oil needs to be changed? Thanks for joining us. Check out other videos from automotive, diesel and electric vehicle programs here at CNM.